Now let's talk about some of the minerals and their linkage and association with anxiety. Now this was a major research paper published on trace minerals and anxiety, a review of zinc, copper, iron, and selenium. This was just recently published in Dietetics. And so what you can see here, I'm just showing you some key points and takeaways uh, from this research review. So here is a summary in this table one, a summary of the nutrients, rather the summary of zinc and its relationship in human studies to anxiety. And so you can see all of, all of these um, studies here are human studies. These are not animal studies. And so you can see female high school students, female university students, adult Japanese workers, children and adolescents with ADHD, male Chinese individuals, adults from Bangladesh, patients with um, type 2 diabetes and, and uh, coronary heart disease, and this one Iranian females, and this one Guatemalan school-aged children, and this one patients with anxiety, and this one patients with anxiety and depression, and this down on the bottom, and individuals with anxiety. So my point is, this is a pretty good array of young people, elderly people, middle-aged people, but it's all people. And if you look at the key results here in the center, it's pretty much the same thing. Everything you see highlighted here in blue, inverse association between serum zinc levels and anxiety, meaning the lower the person's zinc levels in their blood were, the greater likelihood of anxiety in the actual patients. And so you can see the same in each of these studies. Low serum zinc correlates with higher anxiety and conduct issues. This was the one done in children and adolescents. We can see in this study, cerebrospinal fluid zinc was negatively correlated with anxiety symptoms. We see here, participants with anxiety had low serum concentrations of zinc. In this study, zinc sulfate and magnesium oxide supplementation reduced anxiety symptoms. In this study, zinc supplementation reduced anxiety and other symptoms related to premenstrual syndrome. One of the classifications, ladies, of PMS is called PMS-A. The A stands for anxiety. Of course, the PMS stands for premenstrual syndrome. And so zinc supplementation and zinc deficiency linked to that anxiety aspect of menstruation. We also see in this one, increased serum zinc was associated with reduced anxiety symptoms. And in this study here, patients with anxiety had lower serum zinc concentrations compared to control. Anxiety symptoms were reduced after zinc and antioxidant supplementation. Remember what we said in the beginning that there are mechanisms we suspect are driving anxiety. One of them is inflammation and one of them is oxidation. This is where antioxidants come in. Antioxidants fight oxidation. There we go. And then you can see here in this study, zinc and antioxidant treatment reduced anxiety and normalized plasma zinc. So again, that antioxidant component. In this last study, individuals with anxiety had lower levels of serum HGF and zinc compared to control. Eight-week zinc, again, antioxidant supplement correlated with increased serum HGF. So lots of research that has been published directly linking zinc deficiency to anxiety. Now let's look at selenium. So we can see here in this, again, review paper, we've got several studies here. We've got Portuguese adults with chronic renal failure. We've got Chinese children. We've got women age 18 to 40 with PCOS. We've got adults 45 to 85 diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and congestive heart disease or, or, or coronary heart disease. And we got females from 14 to 74, and we got healthy men from 18 to 45. Nice array of different folks, different races, genders, etc. And what we've got over here, key results, higher anxiety was associated with selenium deficiency, lower serum selenium associated with higher anxiety, selenium in a probiotic. Remember what we said earlier about antibiotics? creating an increased risk for the development of anxiety. This is part of that. So selenium in a probiotic treatment was associated with reduced anxiety symptoms. And in this study, same thing. Selenium probiotic treatment was associated with improved Beck anxiety inventory scores. The Beck anxiety inventory is a, is a, is a test that, uh, that patients are given to measure their anxiety. And then we have selenium supplementation associated with decreased anxious mood in this study. And then high selenium diet was associated with improved anxiety scores in that final study in men. So 
selenium, pretty good research in humans showing benefits. Then we get to iron. So these are research studies about iron deficiency. And so you can see here, again, a nice array of different people. We've got children in infancy and adolescence. We've got children with um, uh, children and adolescents in this study. We've got females in this study, adults in this study, et cetera, et cetera. But coming over here to results, greater self-reported anxiety symptoms during adolescence for participants with iron deficiency as an infant. We also have IDA. This IDA stands for iron deficiency anemia. IDA correlated with an increased risk for anxiety disorder. You know, I, wanna, I wanted to stop and make a point on iron since we're talking about iron deficiency anemia, uh, and we'll get back to this. But one of, you know, and this is, you know, this is particularly important for females who are of the age where they're menstruating. Because what happens, this is scheduled blood loss, right? I mean, it happens every month, every 28 days on a schedule. And what is in your blood? Lots of nutrients are in your blood. When you lose blood, you're losing nutrition. You're not just losing iron, you're also losing selenium, you're losing zinc, you're losing a lot of nutrients. But one of the big ones is iron. And so with that blood loss comes the loss of iron. And so what happens a lot of times to females is we have this transient iron deficiency anemia, and that can translate into anxiety and aggression in females around their cycles. And so how many of you have ever experienced an increase during your cycle of anxiety or an increase in irritability or aggressive behavior? And so this is important to recognize. It's very important for you to recognize for your husband's sake, right? Because um, a lot of times women are very emotional during this time frame. And it's not their fault per se, if, but if you knew this, right? If you knew you could get more iron in you, you could supplementally take iron or eat more foods rich in iron before this happens, you could buffer some of that iron loss and potentially go through your cycle with less of these types of symptoms, making you much more happy, making your, the men in your life much more happy as well. So don't, don't take this as an insult or a sexist comment. What I'm really after here is, is educating you so that you can take a preemptive step before your menstrual cycle. I like to, when people come to see me, when women come to see me and they have this kind of transient iron anemia that comes frequently, what we do is we put them on iron supplementation a week before their cycle and the week of their cycle. And in this way, this way we can keep their iron levels from hitting that dip, driving up that anxiety as a symptom. So back to our research study, um, patients with iron deficiency anemia had higher levels of anxiety compared to the control group, positive association between symptom-based iron deficiency anemia and anxiety for females, but not for males. Again, why, why females but not for males? Part of it has to do with males don't typically have blood loss, uh, especially in today's world where they're not out doing physical jobs and physical labor to the extent they used to. So there's no risk for that blood loss for those cuts and scrapes and other things associated with physical, physical work. And we have low dietary iron was associated with poor sleep quality and poor sleep was associated with higher anxiety. So what they're saying here is Low iron equals bad sleep, which leads to more anxiety. And that makes sense. Then we have this iron supplement improving anxiety symptoms in this research study uh, in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. And we have iron supplementation reducing anxiety and increased key iron related proteins like hemoglobin, ferritin, and transferrin ferritin and these pregnant women uh, from Italy. And then here, iron status inversely associated with stress and anxiety and iron supplementation improved stress scores. And then the last one here, anxiety scores improved and serum iron was increased after the treatment. So no small body of evidence on this topic.